Welcome to our first presentation within Dynamics 365 User Training. Topic today is navigation and taking you through this subject will be Claire Struggles, our senior trainer. When we initially log in to Dynamics 365, the first thing we see is a navigation bar running along the top of the screen. Within that we can see that we're in the sales area and the dashboard entity. Areas hold groups of entities together. To access additional areas, use the downward arrow next to sales and we can see we have areas such as the sales area, marketing area and settings if your user profile gives you the permission to see this tile. If we click on accounts, which is an entity within an area, you'll see the navigation bar changes and we're now looking at the sales area and the accounts entity and immediately the default view for that entity will activate. If we look in the downward arrow next to the word accounts, we can then see any accounts that we have recently worked with. Clicking on an account from here will open that account and the navigation bar will change again. So we're now looking at the sales area, the accounts entity, and we're in a training account record. To get back to the main accounts list view, simply click on accounts and that will take you back. To go back to the default screen, click on sales and you will see that you're taken back to sales and then dashboards, which is the default login entity. And this area is used by companies to hold key information that a user needs to see as soon as they log into the system. So each time we move, sales area, contacts entity, you'll see that that navigation bar follows us in what is called a breadcrumb trail. The next item along the navigation bar is the search field. So if we click on here, this field allows us to do a global search across the database. So I'm going to click into the field, put in an asterisk which is above the number 8, type the value Olivia and then use another asterisk to enclose that value. When I hit the magnifying glass to run that search, Dynamic searches up to nine entities that are set by the system administrator in the background. And you can see that the value of Olivia has been found in accounts, contacts and users in this case. And I can click on any one of those values to open a record card and work with it from the global search. So remember, hit the global search button first, click in the field and then type the value that you want to search for. But make sure that it's fully enclosed in the asterisks before you run the search. And that's searching up to nine entities. The next icon along is giving us any recently viewed views, bit of a mouthful, and any recent records that I've viewed as well. And each record that I've viewed will have a tile in front of it signifying the entity that it belongs to. The next icon along is Advanced Find. A little bit comprehensive for a basic navigation module, so we will be looking at that in another session. And next to that, we've then got Settings. And we can set personal user options within this little cog. So if we click on it, you'll see I've got options in there. And I've got various settings that I can change in the system. We've then got the help icon if you need any online help with Microsoft Dynamics 365 and then we've got your user login information in the top right hand corner and of course if you've got a photo linked to your profile that will appear in there as well. So that's basic navigation along the main navigation bar that's all for this session today, but we will be producing lots more of these short videos explaining how to navigate and use Dynamics 365.